Hey guys, again, before we review for the test, I think it's good that we uh, practice the word problems involving systems because these tend to be the hardest problems that you're going to see on the test. This one's a bit easier than the one with the coins. It just says the sum of two numbers is 83, their difference is 47, but in this one, make sure you answer the question at the end. It just wants the smaller number. Now you know you're dealing with a system of equations because again, here you have one relationship where you have the sum of two numbers is 83, you have the second relationship where their difference is 47, and you know you have two unknowns because you have a larger number and a smaller number. So re remember, the first thing you should do after you identify that that is a system of equations word problem is create a let statement. And with integers, I think it's always easy to use x to represent the larger number and y to represent the smaller number. So once we have the let statement set up, we can create equations using x and y. The sum of the two numbers is 83. So one of the equations I'm going to use is representing the sum of x and y, and it is 83. Then it says their difference is 47. So that means if I take the larger number and subtract the smaller number, I get 47. So here is my system. I'll bring it up here. And now I have to look at it and analyze it and see what will be easiest to use. Graphing, substitution, or elimination. Well, it's possible to use all three, but graphing would be very inconvenient here. I would recommend elimination here, but you could actually also use substitution if you solved one of these equations for a variable. But if you look, the y's already have opposite coefficients. So if I just add these two equations together, this is what happens. So if I add them together, I'm left with x plus x, which is going to give me 2x. The y's add to 0, so they are gone. And I do 83 plus 47, which is 130. Okay? So I divide both sides by 2, and I get x equals 65. And now, that gives me the larger number. So I go back into my let statement, and I make sure I put 65 there. But I have to answer the question. It just wants the smaller number. So I have to choose one of the two equations, and let's choose the top one. It seems to be easy to use. So I'm going to take x plus y equals 83. And I'm going to substitute in x where I see it in the equation. So I get 65 plus y equals 83. And when I subtract 65 from both sides, I get y equals 18. That should be my smaller number. But before I confirm that it is my answer, I should check very quickly. And with word problems, you don't have to check your answer algebraically. You could just do it using the problem given to you. First check. The, is the sum of two numbers 83? Does 65 plus 18 equal 83? Yes, it does. Does 65 minus 18 give you a difference of 47? Yes, it does. So that's how you know it's true, but the answer to the question is just the smaller number, which in this case is 18. 